What's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be covering Black Wings, which is going to revolve around the Black Wings Pride Structure Deck. Here we're going to be going over my personal deck list as well as a few combos I believe you should know to be able to run this deck proficiently, as well as some gameplay of me using the deck. Let me know down in the comments below how you like this deck, how you like to counter this deck, and how often you see this deck on the ladder. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. All right, so let's go over this deck list real quick. It's going to revolve around the structure deck Black Wings Pride, which you will need three copies of since you will need most of the cards in the structure deck, as well as some of these cards are non-craftable and are only available from the structure deck. So starting off, we run two copies of DD Crow, one Orochi, two copies of Max C, one copy of Sharnaga, one Harmatan, Three copies of Vada, one Chinook, three copies of Ash Blossom, one Zephros, one Oster, three copies of Shamal, three copies of Sudri, three copies of Shamoon, two Triple Tactics Talents, three copies of Small World, three copies of Black Whirlwind, two copies of Black Feather Whirlwind, two Call by the Graves, two Infinite Impermanence, and one Blackwing Twin Shadow. So moving on to the extra deck, we run one Nathung, two copies of Boral Storm, one Silverwind, two Blackwing Dragons, one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, two copies of Blackwing Full Armor Master, three copies of Blackwing Assault Dragon, one Raider's Knight, one Art Rebellion XYZ Dragon, and one Y Strix. Now on the right of the screen, I will show you the cards that are not available in the structure deck that you will have to craft separately. So with all that being said, let's head into the combos. Board, we're going to be focusing on having Shamoon, plus one other Blackwing in hand to banish, which in this case will be Blackwing Shamal. With that being said, we will not be using or utilizing the Ash Blossom, the Triple Tactics Talent, or the Infinite Impermanence in hand. So to get this combo started, you want to use Shamoon's effect to reveal itself in hand to banish the Shamal, to place one Black Whirlwind on the field. You want to use the effect to normal summon the Shamoon and then activate Black Whirlwind. From there you want to add your Sudri to the hand. Then you want to normal summon Sudri. Activate its effect along with Black Whirlwind. By the effect of Black Ruin, you want to add Vada to the hand, and by the effect of Sudri, you want to add Shamal to the hand. From there, you want to activate Shamal's effect to banish itself to add one Black Feather Whirlwind from the deck to the field. Then you want to activate Vada's effect to special on to the field in defense mode. And then you want to activate its other effect to send itself along with Zephros and Chinook from the deck to the graveyard to summon a Black Winged Dragon from the extra deck. You then want to activate Black Feather Whirlwind and special summon Vada from the graveyard to the field in defense mode. You then want to activate Zephyros' graveyard effect, returning Black Feather Whirlwind to the hand to special summon itself onto the field in defense mode. From there, you want to activate Sudri's effect to tribute Shamoon to summon one token onto the field. Psst. 
Now you want to reactivate Black Feather Whirlwind. Then Synchro Summon into Nathung using Sutri and the token. You then want to activate Shamal's effect, banishing itself to add Suju to the hand. You want to act you want to normal summon Sudri and use its effect. As well as the effect of Black Rowan. By the effect of Black Rowan, you want to add Oroshi to the hand. And by Sudri's effect, you want to add Twin Shadow to the hand. By effect, you want to special summon Oroshi to the field in defense mode. You then want to synchro summon the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss by using Roshi and Black Winged Dragon. Then you want to synchro summon Bora Storm, the Wicked Wind, using Sudri and Vada. From there, you want to use its effect to send Shamal from the deck to the graveyard. Now, Synchro summon the Black Wing Assault Dragon using Bora Storm and the Thumb. From there, you want to activate Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Bora Storm from the graveyard. Then Synchro summon another Black Wing Assault Dragon by using Bora Storm and Zephros. Now you want to special summon our third Black Wing Assault Dragon by banishing Boar Storm and Black Wing Dragon from the graveyard. From there you want to set your Twin Shadow and you will end your turn. Now during your opponent's main phase we will be using the Twin Shadow. From here, you are going to return Boar Storm and Zephyros to the deck to summon a Black Winged Full Armor Master. You want to activate Black Feather Whirlwind, and you want to bring back Nathong onto the field. Oh. 
and use Shamal's graveyard effect, banishing itself to add a Chinook to the hand. Alright, so now you are going to have your inboard of the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, which is going to be an Omni Negate with 3200 attack, 2500 defense. Your Black Ring Full Armor Master at 30,000 attack and defense, that's unaffected by card effects. Three Black Wing Assault Dragons at 3200 attack and 2800 defense. And a Black Wing Thong at 2400 attack, 1600 defense as well as a Black Wing Chinook in hand, which is basically going to act as your effect failure. So for this combo to work, we're going to be focusing around Sudri and one Black Whirlwind being in our hand. So of course, with that being said, we will not be utilizing the Maxi, the Shamal, or the Shamoon in our hand. So to get this started, you want to activate Black Whirlwind. Then you're going to number summon Sudri. Use the effect of Sudri as well as Black Whirlwind. By the effect of Black Whirlwind, we will add Vada to the hand, and by the effect of Sudri, we'll add Shamal to the hand. From there, you want to activate Shamal's effect, send itself to the graveyard to set one Black Feather Whirlwind from the deck. By a special summon, we're going to add Vada to the field in defense mode. And then activate Vada's effect. Send itself along with Zephyros and Chinook to the graveyard to summon Black Winged Dragon. You then want to activate Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Vada from the grave in defense mode. Then you want to activate Zephyro's Graveyard Effect, returning the Black Feather Whirlwind to the hand to special summon itself onto the field. Then you want to Synchro Summon the Thumb using Vada and Sudri. Then you'll activate Shamal's Graveyard Effect, banishing itself to add Sudri back to the hand. We will then reactivate Black Feather Whirlwind and Normal Summon Sudri. Once again, we will activate Sudri's effect along with Black Whirlwind. By the effect of Black Whirlwind, we'll add Oroshi to the hand, and by the effect of Sudri, we'll add Black Feather Whirlwind to the hand. We will then activate Sudri's effect to tribute Zephyros to summon a token onto the field. And then by effect, we will special summon Oroshi to the field in defense mode. Now you want to synchro summon into the hot red dragon Archfiend Abyss using Oroshi and Black Winged Dragon. You will then activate Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Zephyros from the graveyard to the field in defense mode. Oh. 
Now you want to activate your second Black Feather Whirlwind from your hand. And now you're going to Synchro Summon Boros Swarm using the token along with Sudri. You will use Boris Torm's effect to send Shamal from the deck to the graveyard. And now you want to Synchro Summon Blackwing Assault Dragon using Nathong and Boros Storm. You now want to activate the Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Borstorm from the graveyard to the field. And then you want to Synchro Summon another Black Wing Assault Dragon using the Borstorm and Zephyros. Then you want to special summon the Blackwing Assault Dragon for the third time by banishing Borstorm and Blackwing Dragon from the graveyard. You now have your Arch Being Abyss, Omni Negate, as well as three Tax Dragons on the field ready to go into your next turn. So for this combo, it is going to revolve about having a Sudri plus one Black Feather Whirlwind in your hand. And as always, that means we will not be using or utilizing the second Sudri, the Triple Tactus Talent, or the Infinite Impermanence. So to get this started, you want to activate your Black Feather Whirlwind, and then Normal Summon Sudri. From there, you're going to activate Sudri's effect to add Vada to the hand. You then want to use Vada's effect to special summon onto the field in defense mode. And then activate its effect again by sending itself along with Harmaden Zephyros to the graveyard to summon Black Winged Dragon. You want to activate the Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Bada from the graveyard. You then want to activate Zephyr's graveyard effect to return the Black Feathered Whirlwind to the hand to special summon itself onto the field. You now want to reactivate Black Feather Whirlwind. And then Synchro Summon Boral Storm using Vada and Sudri. And use Boral Storm's effect to send Oroshi to the graveyard. You then want to sink or summon into the Archfiend Abyss by using Borostorm and Blackwing Dragon. You now want to activate Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Borostorm from the graveyard. And Synchro Summit 1 Black Winged Assault Dragon by using Boris Storm and Zephyros.
and now you want to special summon a black wing assault dragon by banishing the black wing dragon and Borestone from the graveyard. Now this combo is going to revolve around having one Sudri in hand. It's going to be the black wing one card combo. So with that being said, of course, that means we will not be utilizing the Vada or the two Black Whirlwinds in hand. So to do this, you're going to want to normal summon your Sudri, activate the effect, and add a Vada to the hand. By effect, you're going to want to special summon Vada to the field in defense mode and then activate Vada's effect, sending itself along with Zephyros and Chinook to the graveyard to summon a Black Winged Dragon. You want to activate Sudri's effect, tributing the Black Winged Dragon to add a token onto the field. Now you want to activate Zephyros graveyard effect. You will be adding the Sudri back to the hand to special summon itself onto the field. And you're going to synchro summon into Nathong using the token and Zephyros. You now want to normal summon Sudri. And activate the effect to add Twin Shadow to the hand. You now want to activate Twin Shadow and return Vada and Zephyrus from the graveyard back to the deck to summon Borstrom. You now want to use Boar Storm's effect to send Shamal to the graveyard. And then Synchro summon the Black Wing Fool Armor Master using Boar Storm and Nathong. Now I want to activate Shamal's graveyard effect by banishing itself to add Chinook to the hand. And you will special summon your Blackwing Assault Dragon by banishing the Boar Storm and Blackwing Dragon from the graveyard. So for this combo to work, you need one Vada and one Shamal in hand. So of course that means we will not be utilizing the Oroshi, the Chinook, or the Small World in hand. So to get this started, you want to activate Shamal's effect, sending itself to the graveyard to set one Black Feather Whirlwind. From there, you want to normal summon Vada and then activate Vada's effect, sending itself along with Hermodin and Zephyros to the graveyard to summon Blackwing Dragon. You want to activate the Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Vada from the graveyard. And then activate Shamal's graveyard effect, banishing itself to add Harmon to the hand. You then want to activate Zephyr's graveyard effect returning the Black Feather Whirlwind to the hand to special summon itself onto the field. Oh. 
And then by effect, you can special summon the Harmaton onto the field. You want to activate Harmaton's effect to target Vada, increasing its level to level 4. And then Synchro summon into Barstorm using Vada and Sephros. You then want to activate Borderstorm's effect to send Sharnaga to the graveyard. You then want to reactivate your Black Feather Whirlwind. And then Synchro Summon Black Wing Assault Dragon using Borstorm and Black Wing Dragon. You want to activate Black Feather Whirlwind to special summon Boar Storm back from the graveyard. Then you want to secret summon into another Black Wing Assault Dragon using Boar Storm and Harmon. And then finally, you want to special summon your last Blackwing Assault Dragon by banishing Borstorm and Blackwing Dragon from the graveyard.